Hello and welcome to another IC3D Quick Fight. In today's IC3D Quick Fight, we're going to be taking a look at how to create a custom peg hole for any of our flexible models. The first step is we're actually going to have to go into Illustrator to design our peg hole. The peg hole I've chosen to create is this simple uh, IC3D logo here. And the only thing you need to do when creating a custom peg hole is it needs to be a black object on a white background. Other than that, you're good to go. All you need to do then is file, export, and export as. From here, we're looking to export this out as a PNG. I'm going to call this IC3D. And where we're saving it is going to be inside of our program data, Creative Edge software, IC3D, peg holes. And then once you're ready, just go ahead and hit export into this peg holes folder. Making sure again, the background color is white and you have the resolution as high as you can go. From here, you're all done with the custom peg hole, and now we can go over to IC3D and use that peg hole. What we need to do is head back over into the template library and head over to the stand-up pouch template. Drag that onto the scene, and from here, customize your custom stand-up pouch or, again, any of the flexible models that have the notches and holes option. Inside of here, we'll have our peg hole. And of course, we do want to dial in our seals and everything else first. I'm going to add 20 to the top seal and everything else I'm going to leave alone. Going over to our notches and seals, I'm going to go into the peg hole option over near the hole punch. Go ahead and open up that window. You should now see the new custom hole punch that you've created inside here. Just go ahead and select that. And as you can see, that will then customize your peg hole. From here, add any other effects that you'd like onto your model, and then add this to the scene. From here, I'm going to connect to Illustrator, and I'm going to set this up for a basic render scene. Adding in our artwork, and then sending this back to IC3D. Heading back to IC3D, once we get the up-to-date, we can now see that our artwork's placed really nicely, and our peg hole looks pretty good next to our artwork. Let's go ahead and set this up for a quick render scene by going over to our backgrounds tab and applying the background as a white background and then heading over to your special effects to add some shadowing and then ultimately the lighting editor. And inside of this lighting editor, I'm actually going to be creating a new custom lighting and this light I'm going to be importing in from an HDRI image. So if you head down, to the backgrounds tab, you can see that we've got the spherical image option. Checking that will open up your load window, and you just need to find your image, in this case the HDR or HDRI file, and import this in. Perfect. Now from here, we want to dial in the materials and swap our views to our high quality ray tracing view. hitting start, and then focusing our scene so we can see how our product is doing. So from here, I want a little bit more shine on the front of our package, so I'm going to add a single light to the center and front of our package. That should help brighten up this area, adding slight angle to make the light wider or larger and then ultimately going in the opacity is always at 75 when creating a new light 
and I actually want to drop this down a little bit less. Then from here, it's all going to be inside of the material for our bag. And what I like to do is higher refraction mixed with a nice roughness gives us a very nice realistic look. And then from here, I'm going to ultimately go into the material of our package, and I'm going to make this into a white color. And like that, we can quickly prep our model, render it out, and as you can see, that custom peg hole looks absolutely wonderful sitting on top of our model. Thank you so much for joining me for this IC3D Quick Bite on how to create custom peg holes inside of IC3D. My name's Adam Chop, and stay tuned for more. Thank you.